Alright, citrus trees growing from container, video 4, this is the May update, so it's currently May 16th, I believe, um, could not do the video update yesterday, we do every 15th, but it's alright. Um, first plant right here, pink lemonade tree, um, currently I don't think this guy is going to make it, though, he seems pretty yellow, so it's probably going to fall off, but we do have another one growing right there. And uh, significantly started to grow, um, grow shoot, that shoot. So probably going to trim that a little bit so it can branch out a bit more. And uh, we're probably going to have to put it in a bigger pot, one of those ones, to um, let the roots really expand more. But, uh, so yeah. And then we also right here have the semi-dwarf Valencia orange. Um, that one's growing good, pink lemonade's in the way, but see so you have our little oranges right there. I don't think I'm going to let it set fruit this year because of just the size of it. It has more flowers, and um, yeah, but you can see the size of it. It's not that big, so, um, but it did grow. It is growing, so that's an improvement. Over here we have our... Uh, I believe it's a Kishu mandarin tree. Uh, I was not really sure what type of mandarin fruit this was, but um, I made the assumption because we got it. We got this one from Home Depot, and I figured it's a Kishu variety since that's what usually um, Home Depot sells under mandarins. But uh, if we take a look, this did set fruit. It, it set especially a lot of fruit, actually. And you can see right here, we have all that right there. And um, yeah, so we did have a bit of leaf foliage drop right there, um, most likely because of the fertilizer. And um, yeah, we also have new growth as well, though. So these leaves, actually, th these are all new branches that grew. And you can see it's starting to set. They're starting to get a little bit more green, but they're a little light, so I figured fertilize it a little bit more. And um, we have more growth, which is absolutely nice. And we still have mandarin fruits right there. And of course, we do have a little bit that are going to fall, like this one right here. Easily falls off, and it's expected. Um, a little tree like this can't hold so can only hold so many fruit, but um. We'll keep an eye on these fruits. This is ones I'm interested in. Um, moving over this pole, we have our Meyer lemon tree. Now, as you can see, um, we kind of exited the flowering stage, but um, from time to time with Meyer lemons, or even with any other citrus, you may see, see a couple more flowers pop up, but mainly between February and April is when the flowering period uh, goes around with all citrus so you can see we have new branches coming up and this is what I did want for this tree now you can see it seems a little bit uh, empty with leaves a little, little hollow and um, between February and April it started flowering and so now we actually have fruit setting you can see how nice that fruit is right here we actually have multiple from when i first counted i think we have at least 15 on this right here 15 new fruit setting not including um this one right here which has grown um i'll give it until july that's when i figured it'll start to ripe and then we can pick it but uh, as you can see brand new branches growing new leaves everything so that's all new and I'm expecting for this to really start shooting off because as you know we just planted this into a huge bigger pot and um, yeah so far this one seems like it's gonna be the most successful so yeah so this is the Meyer lemon or improved Meyer lemon tree and uh, so far we do have two larger fruits you can see that one right there so yeah, and then we have this larger one waiting to get ripe, and I'm very curious to see um, how these fruits turn out on this tree, and 
they are a pretty decent size for now so um Meyer lemon's growing really nice moving on we have the Moro blood orange of course barely got it about a month ago and so with the update with it now it hasn't really started producing anything also sorry there's a bit of cuts um just have to edit out a few things but um with the blood orange tree as you can see it's still nice and green uh only problem is that we haven't seen any new growth or flowers if this can focus thank you um did put more fertilizer on it so sh we should start seeing new growth soon within the month or within the next few weeks um, I do see buds starting to pop out on the edges of them if this can focus well, and it's not. But um, right there, you can see on the, the nodes on these leaves. So that's where new growth is going to start coming up. So um, we'll see uh, if this starts growing or not. And lastly, with the Meyer lemon tree. Yeah, I have two Meyer lemon trees. And um, same exact deal with like the other one um this one is growing well and a uh, much more greener it has much more leaves as well though but as you can see lots of Meyer lemons this is its first year or second year producing at least from what i think and we also have a few flowers as well which is nice um right there but um i'm hoping this can grow few more leaves right here uh, just to get a little bit more bigger but yeah so this is all of the citrus trees that we have here in our garden including the pink lemonade and uh, yeah so this is the May update also including the mini pomegranate tree you can see uh, it grew a lot actually and we have flowers now so I thought that's a cool little mention. And uh, we also have this pomegranate tree from seed growing in a pot just for fun. So I think it's just nice to have. And uh, yeah, so this is the Citrus Growing in Containers series. Uh, I'll be following or giving monthly updates on the fruiting. So now we're in the fruiting stage and we are exiting the flowering stage except for the Valencia orange and pink lemonade. But all the rest are basically finished flowering and now all their energy is gonna be put towards fruiting. So um, yeah, that was the video and thanks for watching.